Jessica from Cocoon Apothecary and I want to talk to you today about our Eye Waken Eye Cream. Comes in a 20 ml bottle and it's a cream so it goes on very nice and light and it moisturizes and it hydrates. So I had been experimenting with different ways of delivering um, what your eye area needs through I tried gels, balms and oils and I just really felt that this area is in need of a cream. Um, you want something to go on really light. You don't want anything to sit heavy on that area. That area is very um, delicate. The skin is thinner in that area. So you don't want anything heavy to just feel um, even greasy. Um, you can also develop little like milia if you have a rich uh, oil on it. So with Eye Waken, it's a, it's a cream, so it is all the oils, the butter, but it's in a water base, so you uh, don't get as much. It won't sit as heavy. And the water also helps hydrate the area. Um, the, oil, the water we use in ours is um, corn flour hydrosol and rose hydrosol. So those are, that's the water component of this cream. Um, and those were chosen because they are a, very gentle, and B, they are um, astringent and anti-inflammatory and will take cool and take down uh, the puffiness around your eyes. And that's why we call it the Eye Waken Cream because it, it does waken up that area, especially in the morning when you are um, just waking up and you feel puffy. You can just put the Eye Waken on. I do have a pump. And I just gently dab it. And that's another reason why I like lotion too, because lotion has a really um, smooth viscosity and it goes on like very, you can just dab it. You know, you don't need to rub it in. You don't, It's not like an oil or a balm where you have to like rub it in. Um, it is completely dabbable and it just absorbs really nicely. So the, the cornflower rose hydrosol um, is in there with cocoa butter. And cocoa butter was added because we want the area to firm up. So cocoa butter is really high in stearic acid and it creates a nice light barrier, but also, um, yeah, it just keeps the area firm because that stearic acid is really good for like um, supporting the structure of your skin. Um, and then it also has some anti-aging carrier oils, of course. Um, so we have argon oil, which I mean, tons of vitamin E and for like acid in that. Um, and then there's grapeseed oil and um, sweet almond oil. So sweet almond oil is known traditionally for um, helping with dark circles under the eyes. Um, so, I mean, it's not a mir miraculous, like, ever, like miraculous thing where all of a sudden you don't have dark circles, but over time it does help. Um, it helps to care for this area of your um, face. Sometimes it gets neglected or the wrong products go on it. So when you take the time to put like a product that was specially formulated for this area, it makes a big difference in how your eye area appears. And we have to remember this area too is the first place to get wrinkles. So there is a lot of, um, you know, maintenance you want to do and preventative moisturizing that you want to do in this area so that it doesn't, um, you know, it's not the first target for wrinkles on your, on your face. So, um, it just, it's a very delicate, um, area, which is another reason why we don't put essential oils or anything harsh in this form. It's a very gentle formula, won't sting, um, and feels very soothing, very cooling, and definitely wakes you up if you feel puffy and tired. So I think that's, it's basically like a dream product. Um, I formulated it for myself and that's always where these products come from is, me knowing that I need something really badly and creating it. And I really honestly can't go a day without using this product. And even today, I forgot to put it on in the morning. I went for a walk and I could just, oh, I forgot my eye cream. You know, I can feel it right away and then I have to go put it on. Um, so um, I love the feeling of how it just feels moisturized. It feels nice and firm and it feels very soothed. And that's important as well. So if you have any questions, please comment under this video. Thanks for watching.